In this video, we will look at the integrals of certain trigonometric functions. In particular, um, the integral we look at is always a product of a sine function and a cosine function. And both the sine x and cosine x has certain exponents on top of that. We actually like to uh, solve all kinds of problems like this. Whenever m and n are positive integers, and the first case that we look at is a case where one of the m and n is odd. Let's look at the current example. The current example is that uh, we have the sine square x and cosine cube x inside the integral. And uh, I claim that um, the way to solve it is actually very systematical in the sense that you have to split one copy out from the odd copy. You see, because now uh, sine x has a square, square, this one is even, so uh, we don't care about that. We care about the trigonometric function that actually has the odd exponent, which is cosine x in this case. So I would like to take out one copy. And please note that after taking one copy out, um, the cosine x now has an even number of copies, right? Please look at that, it's even. And that's the key uh, to make our method works in this problem. Now, what I want to do is that we want to do a u substitution in this problem. So uh, for example, I would like to make a u such that the du will take out one copy of cosine x. And um, let's take a look at that. I would like to use the du be cosine x times dx, because in that case, you, the du actually take out one copy of cosine x, and you can integrate it back, right? And the u must be sine x now. If you take an integration of uh, cosine x dx, and um, it essentially means that I would like to solve this problem by the use of the method of substitution, where the u is actually sine x. And uh, let's take a look at this problem. We want to convert all the things from x to u, and we can start the integration process. And the uh, sine square x is clear, because you see uh, the u is actually sine x, it means that uh, this one is u square. How about the middle one? The middle one, you see, the fact is that um, now for cosine, square x, we need to convert it to something where u is sine x. And the only thing we can do is the famous identity that we have. Cosine square x actually equals 1 minus sine square x, right? Uh, so it means that um, cosine square x is actually 1 minus u square. So we'll look at the next step. So we have already transformed all the things into the variable u. So you need to integrate u square times open bracket 1 minus u square close bracket times du. And I believe uh, this integral is something you're able to deal with because you're basically integrating u square minus u to the power 4 because you need to distribute the u square term inside the brackets. And to integrate this, we can simply use the power rule for integration. So it's u cube over 3 minus u to the power 5 over 5 plus the constant c. And of course, the last step you can do is replace u back to x. So the answer is something like sine x cubed over 3 minus sine x to the power 5 over 5 plus constant c. And that's the answer to this problem. So let's look at one more problem. So please look at the current problem, which is the integration for the sine x to the power 5. And um, although we don't have the cosine function, the, but the key is that we actually have the exponent for the sine x, which is odd, right? Uh, that's what we want. And uh, based on my previous hint, we would like to solve it by the use of the method of substitution. So um, we need to take out one copy of the sine x from the, from the whole thing here. So we are left with four copies of the sine x. So I would like to take out one copy of sine x, and I would like to make it a du. And uh, let's make a good guess what is the u for this problem. So let me write it down here. du is actually the same as uh, sine x times dx. And u, we can do an integration because uh, from du to u, what we do is an integration for the sine x. And it means uh, u is the minus cosine x, right? Because when you differentiate minus cosine x, you'll get back sine x here. Anyway, um, as a method of substitution, we need to replace everything back to u. Um, let's look at this term, which is uh, sine to the power 4x. So uh, let's look at it here, sine to the power of x. And please find a way to convert it back to u, at where u is minus cosine x. And please note that u square is actually the whole thing square on the right-hand side, which is cosine square x, right? So you can use it as a hint. 
The fact is that uh, we have a famous identity sine square x plus cosine square x equals one. So uh, I would like to make use of that. So which means um, first, we can make sine to the power four x be the same as sine square x, the whole thing square. And the things inside the bracket can be converted by the well-known identity sine square x equals one minus cosine square x. Now the whole thing is a square. And please notice that cosine square x um, is actually the same as u square, which means that uh, the whole thing is actually the same as one minus u square close bracket and the whole thing square, right? And this is the term for sine to the power four x. So let's come back to the left hand side. It means you have to integrate open bracket one minus u square close bracket the whole thing square times du. And are you able to integrate this? The answer is yes. Uh, please do the algebra to expand the power. After expansion, it becomes one minus two u square plus u to the power four. You need to integrate this. Uh, you can simply do it by the power rule. So it becomes u minus two times u cubed over three plus u to the power five over five plus a constant c. And of course, at the end, you have to replace what you have on the right hand side in the green color, which is u equals minus cosine x into the final step here. So uh, u is minus cosine x. So I'm just writing the answer down now. which is our final answer now. And that's the end of this problem.